The other here, flashlight by Prometheus lights. I have put to the test some of them. So there's a name for it, Millstorm MXS. Is that how you pronounce it? Not really sure. So what we got here? Whoa, check this out. This is cool. Oh, no way. It comes with the charging base. That is nice. And it will take one of this new design charging wires and a couple of rings and things like that. Oh wow, you can replace the button. So they give you different color buttons. I guess I'll keep it blue. Looks like there's one light bulb in there. But I will assume it will be pretty powerful. Okay, this is gonna be the whole thing is battery most likely. Let's see. Yep, and usually they put them in a plastic and such. Wow, that's a big battery. Okay, put it back in. The batteries are only getting better and better. Press. Okay, light press. There you go. Press and hold. Make it brighter. Wow. Very powerful flashlight. When I press it again, it's going to be on the last mood. So if you want to reset it, just press it on. Press and hold. And as you can see, whenever I press it back on, it's going to be on the last mood. This is the lightest, that way we can sew on the battery. I love it. And it turns back on from the last mood. So this is uh, 5 lumens, 50 lumens, uh, 350, 1000, make it lower. Okay, I'm gonna press double. That side here, 1700 lumens. 1700 lumens only runs for 30 seconds. Very cool, unique flashlight. I really like it. Got it here, CRKT, Carabiner, and I think it's called Guppy. Uh, there's US button and stuff like that. So what it is, is a little multi-tool. There's a little knife, and right here is a little adjustable wrench. So, very small. Also, if you got one of these things, it didn't come with them. I bought it for my bag because it discontinued. You put four different kinds and then you pull it out and plug it here and it become a screwdriver. This ones are a little bit too big. So I'll have to get a smaller ones. And also there's a little flashlight. Very, very tiny flashlight. Probably need a new battery. I love Vantage EDC multi-tools like that. Uh, these ones are pretty rare, but you can still find them on eBay. You can put on a clip or on a carabiner, either way. Pretty unique. This side here is survival water bags. Pretty unique gadgets, for sure. Look how big there is. So it's completely sanitized because it has a zipper right here. You can open it. Then grab these two little flappies and unfold it and fill it up with water. The reason why it's a good idea, if you bring in with you a flask, empty water bottle, it's pretty bulky and you can only bring it with you so much. It's one liter. It can hold, no problem, a liter of water. It's a little bit skinnier, but we need some space to also kind of zip it up. Close it this way. And then, boom. Probably this way is better. And on top of it, you can just uh, fold this up and make a little knot too. And twist it up so it doesn't come off. And then you have right here a little handle. So you can grab it and carry it, right? Or you can put it onto the carabiner and hook it up to your backpack, hang it on the back. And as you can see, it's very durable. It's a really nice high quality bags. So you can bring with you water bottle, multiple water bottle, or you can bring uh, multiple uh, water bags and look how skinny they are. Versus water bottle is really thick, especially three of them. They will hold up a lot of space versus water bags. And whenever they filled up, they are big. Very high quality too. Got it right here another camping stove by Primus. Primus is a really nice brand. Look at that stove, definitely very different. How does it lock in? So, does it actually lock in? Oh wow, you twist it and now this whole 
layer part stays together and this side here kind of like a plate and uh, looks like it's half a liter and kind of uh, like a lid as well I love that design and also high quality right here holster pretty much brand's been around for many many years and it's still considered to be one of the best we'll take one of these propane canisters screw it on wow that looks so nice and easy to take it off beautiful okay let's see how it starts um just spin this wow that's powerful very nice and quiet too this is probably the quietest stop i ever seen look how cute that is and obviously all the heat will be deflected into the pot which is also another good news so so we'll grab this water and fill it up half a liter and time it how fast will it boil that way we can demonstrate this baggy you see how easy it is Oop. Also, this side here, type pad, you don't have to use it, but it's easy to set it up. This is for smaller or bigger canister. Boom, twist it. And now you can put on any kind of surface. You see how much space there is. And there's a for bigger canister as well. How easy it is to plug it in. You just put it in and twist. Okay, wow, that is really easy. I love it. Okay, we're gonna put it on maximum. That is extremely quiet. Okay, and we're gonna start it. That is cool. Look at that flame on the inside. This is on the most power. You see, it doesn't go anymore. Two and a half minutes, already here it's simmering. Wow. It's looking real quick. Yeah, it's definitely simmering a little bit. At three minutes almost. Will it boil at three minutes? I see some steam coming. Okay. Three minutes, maybe two and a half minutes. Three minutes and 30 seconds, let's see. Oh yeah, it's pretty much boiling, but not full boil. Probably will be around four minutes. Again, depends how hot it is outside. It's around 55 degrees out here. If you go outside and it's like 27 degrees or colder, probably it'll take a little longer. And also with the lid, it boils a little bit faster. You see, as soon as I put the lid on, four minutes and water is fully boiled. Pretty safe to the touch, twist it and you can pull it off. And once everything cools off, you can put the gas in here, put the stove in, boom. And now it all stays together. It should probably come with the holster put it all together and now you have the stove and the gas fits together but keep it in mind it only fits one of those small canisters there is a two bigger sizes that will not fit in. this you don't have to have but it does help to keep everything steadier another very unique uh, flashlight lantern Ooh, look how cute and small that is looks a lot bigger in the pictures um, with the layer comes with a lot of iPod. Also, you can buy those type pods, different kinds, and it will go pretty much on any type pod. Oh, it's magnetic too, so you can uh, set it up anywhere. So there's three moods. One, very bright flashlight, kind of like a spot light, because, the, because it's a little bright right here, and then another one, much dimmer. It's not bad. Press, press again, you have nice, uh, like a yellow light lantern and flash and red warning well you know what i think it's also i was gonna say it's a quicker list from here and i broke the tie pod it is very <laughs> very cheap wow actually it's also can be used as a power bank seems to be just maybe emergency very cool flashlight tie pod is not so much